welcome to my channel and please remember to subscribe click on that button and the bell and we're gonna talk about the food that we take in and how it is affecting our hair growth the main deficiencies that I've noticed are usually from the vitamin intake which we lack most of the time so I'm gonna talk about vitamin A B C D E and the one that most people overlook which is the zinc so let's get started I'm gonna talk about is vitamin A vitamin A is very important for air growth it helps with the formation of sebum which keeps the hair healthy and promotes hair growth we all know sebum we've all heard about sebum every one of us here knows about sebum and if you don't know about sebum sebum is the oil that we secrete from our scalp it comes from inside our body and goes out to the scalp it helps to prevent germs and so many other things happening on the scalp and it keeps the hair moisturized and healthy so with vitamin a it will help to produce more of this sebum which is good for the butt for the hair but too much or too little of vitamin a is not good so be moderate with your intake of vitamin a egg yogurt milk and from egg you can also get biotin from egg we can also get protein and our hair is made out of keratin which is a protein i have changed my intake of egg i've increased it but not too much maybe twice a week or once a week before i never even take it but now i've introduced egg back into my food intake now let's talk about vitamin b vitamin b helps create red blood cells which carries oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicles like get it from your food like food like all grains meat fish all kinds of seafoods and your greens vegetables uh, broccoli and all those ones can help give you vitamin b and remember it helps the scalp and the hair follicles to get the nutrients that they need to grow let's move on to vitamin c vitamin c helps the iron intake to be absorbed by the body and we know iron deficiency causes hair loss deficiency of c or vitamin c also causes hair loss iron helps red blood cells to carry oxygen to our hair so vitamin c will help that iron which carries oxygen to our hair to be absorbed into our body i remember when i went to see my dermatologist about my hair loss when they did the blood work they said i lacked iron and that i should take my iron tablet with vitamin c as in with vitamin c vitamin c was going to help to absorb it into my bloodstream so i did that so where do we get this vitamin c and iron from green leaves spinach broccoli we get it from fruits citrus fruits guava flaxseed now let's talk about vitamin d vitamin d helps to create follicles all those new small hair growth is as a result of vitamin D. Efficiency of vitamin D is a lot, but one of them is hair loss. Sources of vitamin D, fatty foods, fortified foods, and cod liver oil. Let's talk about zinc. Zinc helps in tissue growth and repair. It helps the oil gland around the follicle to work properly. 
also helps to keep the hormone level regulated you just need very small amount of zinc too much of it too little of it can cause air loss so you just need very small minute um, quantity and usually you can get it from your food foods like beef wheat uh, spinach pumpkin seeds so those are all the types of vitamins that we need for our air growth especially those of us suffering from air loss and now you can see my hair is really 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 My hair is really, really bouncing. <laughs> Till next time, remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to share, and also remember to click that tiny bell so you get a notification from me when my video is up. Till next time, love you all, and thanks for watching. Bye.